Hi, uh, my name's Nick Cowan. I'm the game specialist over at T3, and here we are with our hands-on with the Xbox One. Uh, we're now going to play Forza 5, and uh, just for the uh, interest of continuity in editing, I'm going to turn the music off. But as you can see, the music is actually one of the best parts of Forza. It's absolutely astonishing. The menu music is... I mean, I would just leave this on in the background while I was making a cup of tea, quite frankly. And in the, in the actual races, it responds to how well you're doing. If you're at the back, it's quite silent. But if you're charging towards the front, front it gets very, very dramatic. But unfortunately, for continuity's sake, I'm having to turn it off. Right, so uh, this is Forza's hub page. I can take on friends on the leaderboard. Uh, DLC will be coming soon, I'm assuming. Forza Television. I haven't made any video clips of any of the races I've done, so, you know, there's nothing in there. Um, but you can also see that there's, you know, turn, t turn 10 picks. And they'll, they'll, they'll show you things there. Um, you can tune, upgrade, paint your car, Forza Gallery. There's even a message center telling me that I'm doing quite well if my driver tar has been unlocked. Let's head into a race. I'm currently racing in a BMW with a rather swish paint job. Um, the reason I chose a BMW is because I seem to do very, very well with those in the Need for Speed game, so I just thought I'd go with it. Um, when you play Forza... Uh, oh, oh yeah, the, I've also got a Mazda with, with a rather swish paint job as well. You can also buy cars with your in-game credits. I've earned 38,000 in-game credits and I've also got 100 tokens. Um, the cars themselves vary from like 478 to, let's see, most expensive car so far. Well, they're quite reasonable. Six, 700 credits for a Corvette, if only life was that simple. Um, and there's a, a huge variety of cars here. You've got, you know, everything from muscle cars to supercars to hatchbacks to trucks. You know, you even have a vintage car uh, section as well, where you can Delta 1982. I'm not really a car person, to tell you the truth, but uh, I've been playing this nonstop for the last couple of days. How about an Audi? Speed 7.7, .7, handling 5.2, acceleration 9.0. For 700 creds, yeah, I'll take it. And then they head into the Forza Motorsport 5 server. And they give you a selection of paint jobs. What do you reckon? Ooh, what about that? Liquid black, like the Xbox One. But I'm going to go for that one. I like that. Buy the car. I don't have enough. Would you like to buy it with 208 tokens available? No, I don't have enough. Oh, dear. How much is that? I don't have enough money to buy this. Guess I better get back to racing then. Um, right, so, uh, I'm currently in the Today's A class. This event takes place in sunny California at Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, which takes its name from the dried lagoon the track was built over. By the way, I make absolutely no apologies for the fact that I am probably going to be rubbish. I don't normally play racing sims, and giving me something like Forza is kind of like giving a, a Ferrari Testarossa to a four-year-old. Um, so. Apologies ahead if you're sitting through this watching me and being very, very frustrated at how rubbish I am. But, you know, I thought I'd give you fair warning up front. Uh, that having been said, like I said, I don't normally play racing games, but I've really, really enjoyed this. And if, if you don't normally play racing sims, I'd say that this is still worth investing in just because it's a lot of fun and it's, it's very easy on the eyes and it's also very easy to get into. Um, it's also the one that shows off the, 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 the cloud gaming uh, that Microsoft's been talking about so much, the best out of the launch titles. And it also shows off the rumble filters in the, uh, in the controller a lot. I mean, not, not, obviously the control pad vibrates a lot when you're accelerating, but it also has that kind of clunk and gif when, um, when you're changing gears. 
Right, so I have to come third to qualify for a gold rating. You're also going to notice that I'm not racing against the AI. What Forza does is it takes driver tires from all of your other friends and throws them into the race. So, right up ahead of me is Guy Cocker from GameSpot. Who's just next to me? Uh, that's, that's Bodan. That's one of my friends online. It's very, very weird playing the game uh, this close up. There's uh, Rory Buckridge from Nuts over there. I don't know who Planet Bat is. Right, I warned you I was rubbish, <laughs> but one of the cool things about this is, is, is if you get into any sort of real problems, you can actually rewind the progress within the race. Now, this does mean that you will earn less credits and less tokens for racing. They deduct it for every mistake that you make and you reverse on yourself, but you can actually give yourself a little bit of a learning curve here. I'm playing this on the easiest difficulty. If you turn the difficulty off, obviously the uh, the pathways on the road turn off, and um, and 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 it doesn't automatically gear change for you, and you earn more credits that way. Anyway, so let me get back to this, just so you know that that's Guna Boy is uh, is 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 a friend of mine. Dan Ashcroft is older uh, guy Cocker from 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 Gamespot. Uh, I can see someone from VideoGamer.com over there. What you're looking at there is their driver tars. If you do more than three or four races, uh, Forza starts to build up a profile of the way you race and it throws it into the cloud. And every single time somebody else in Forza plays it and they're on your friends list, they'll throw your driver tar into their game. So you never race against the AI. You're always racing against other players. Racing rather aggressively, I, I might add. Right, so I'm not dead last. I am right at the back. Okay, um, you also notice that, like, it, it's a very, very good-looking driving game. So I've just paused the race. Um, as you can see, I wasn't lying. I am rubbish. But the reason I'm showing you this screen is because two things. First of all, if you have a look here, like I said, these are all real people. They're, they're driver tars. They're, they're um, I suppose, virtual constructs of the driving profiles of other people. And I know a couple of the people in this, this list. I mean, I know John Appetit, I know Bodan and Dan Ashcroft. Um, and I'm glad, and, and apparently they're all better than me because they're all in the lead. I'm also here to turn on the audio, uh, the, the, the music, because the music is actually one of the best parts of Forza, and I'll give you a taste of it now. Here we go.
It's actually nice to see that um, some of the virtual constructs of other drivers are as rubbish as me. That was, it was like I, I kind of lost control of it there. There you go. Right, <laughs> let's run through that again, shall we? I mean, you can probably barely hear the music under the sort of um, screaming engines and screaming tires here, um, but I can hear it, and it get it kind of gets more dramatic the further you get towards the front. My word, that was a kerfuffle. Luckily, something I had nothing to do with. So, right, um, as rubbish as I am, I seem to have actually managed to push myself into third place. That is, if someone doesn't push me out of third place. Oh, that was it. I did. I made third place. So there. It's probably the ugliest third place anyone who's ever watched Forza has seen accomplished. But third place is third place. Um... And then they show you, like, so you got a gold medal, and I earned 5,100 in-game credits. Uh, you know. And then it also shows you the XP that you earn. You also get something in this game called uh, an affinity level, which is the more you use a certain brand of car, and the better you get with them, the more experience you're awarded for racing with that particular manufacturer. So I am, um, what did it say I was in the world? 259th? I don't know. Something like that. Um, my car will be repaired for the next race. Because as you see, it needs a new lick of paint and perhaps some panel beating. And then literally it will just throw you into the next race. 